the altitude here is no joke, man. Oh. I can barely breathe right now. Um, I'm going to, so my driver is going to get me um, some cocoa leaves right now. Uh -huh. Just got off the plane, heading to the hotel now. And um, it's kind of hard, man. I can't even breathe right now. Like, it feels like my, my heart is breathing so fast. It's crazy, like, I've never experienced this, it's my first time, so, um, I don't know, hopefully, you know, this is not going to last that long, because I'm scheduled to go to Machu Picchu tomorrow, so, I'll keep you guys posted how things goes and everything, you know, here in Cusco, but you got to be ready for this, man, I never thought I was going to experience this, I'll see you guys in Machu Picchu. Yeah. Alright, guys, so, I still can't breathe. Gracias. So this is what cocoa tea looks like. And um, when you come here, this is what you gotta drink. The altitude, sickness. Right now, you know, my heart is really breathing hard, man. So this is what they give you, cocoa tea, to help with the altitude level. I hope I don't have to feel like this tomorrow because I'm really, really excited to go to Machu Picchu tomorrow. And, um, yeah. Always wanted to go to Machu Picchu. Always wanted to check it out. Um, it's an amazing place, so, yeah. Bienvenido a Cusco. Guys, so I finally made it to Cusco. This is the town that you gotta fly and come in to go to Machu Picchu. And tomorrow is when I'm going to Machu Picchu. So I'm excited. I just helped the locals. One thing I always do when I travel, I help the locals. Got me a new fake right here. He has alpacas on it. And um, I'm on the famous plaza, Plaza de Lama. Whenever you come to Cusco, is this plaza. You gotta, you gotta come here and hang out, you know. They have really, really old colonial buildings here empty right now because of COVID and they have the police right there telling everybody to come home it's after nine o'clock so this is how Plaza de Lamas is very famous I have my friend right there Carlos hey, he on, helped man. me when I came out you know from the airport. The man. yeah he's Judgment. the man he's the man yeah that's my friend right there he helped me with the altitude sickness you know when I got off the plane man, the altitude is crazy here yeah. I can tell you guys that for sure, you know. I invite all Patrick's friends to visit Cusco. See, si, see, si, Here si. it's also crazy. Yeah. Now we are in the cold season. Yes, it is. And the, the city is quiet, it's safe, and you will enjoy a lot. Tomorrow he's going to go to Machu Picchu. Yes. Machu Picchu is lower than Cusco, man. And I invite you. See you. All right, tell them what, what they need to know about Cusco. Yeah, Cusco is a special and magic city. Here we live descendants from the Inca times citizens here in Cusco. Cusco has a lot of tradition, a lot of customs, and I wanna share with you. For example, we are here in the main plaza, man. Can you see? It's amazing. Now I invite you to visit us and I will share with you my history, my traditions, and you will visit me to my home, my house here. And you will know you will meet my family. And I will, I will invite you a Cuscanian beer. Yes. And, and Carlos is from here, right? Yeah, He's I was Cuscanian. born here. I'm Cuscanian. Yeah, he was born and raised here. I speak Quechua. Exactly. Noca Sutimi Carlos. Noca Coscomanta Cani. Eh. Muchas gracias. We're here, baby. Y'all come here, man. It's very safe. You know, it's an amazing city. Tomorrow I'm gonna explore. I'm gonna explore Machu Picchu. I'm gonna show you guys, you know, everything you gotta. This is the main plaza, Plaza de Lamas. Everything you gotta know. Uh huh. Chaka. Okay, Chaka Chaka. And um, 
So luckily my hotel is only like three blocks away from here. So yeah, he okay. just helped me to come here. Amigo, gracias, mucho gracias. Okay. Yeah, so he just helped me to get here and um, yeah. Um, he wants some tip. Uh, minuto amigo. This is how it looks at night. And in the morning, I'm gonna have to come back here and show you guys the famous Plaza de I love it like that. So if you can give Cusco a day, you can explore it. Then you can like go to, you know, my highly recommended activities. Whenever you're here, you can go to Rainbow Mountain. Obviously, we all come here <laughs> for Machu Picchu is one, number one on our bucket list. Uh, Machu Picchu, which I did yesterday and i have a special vlog coming up for that how to get to machu picchu you know on a budget if you're not on a budget you know what i mean all the ways and what you should look out for i have things that i have in that vlog that's things that you don't know about machu picchu until you get there things they don't tell you about it so if you're watching this video like and subscribe right now and turn my notification on so you don't miss my Machu Picchu video. I believe Machu Picchu should be on everybody's bucket list. But right now, let's enjoy downtown Cusco. Like I said, this is Plaza, Plaza de Lamas, which is the downtown, the main plaza here in Cusco. Get it. Cusco, so you from here, right? I'm from here. Okay. The school is in the other side, uh -huh. Almaguer Street. Uh -huh. It is the third uh, religion come to Peru. The first one are the Dominicans, the second one are the Franciscanos, uh -huh. los terceros, the third ones are Mercedarios. Oh, Mercedarios. Okay. Yes, that's right. Awesome. So now we're heading to this like popular market in Cusco, right? Yes, the flu market. The name is Baratillo. Okay. It's, the, the meaning will be something the cheapy, the cheap, the cheapy market. Oh, cheap market. Okay. Yes. There you can find almost everything. Okay. From food, from clothes, good shoes, technology, cell phones, okay. clothes, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And the best thing is you have many things to, to choose and many varieties okay. and the low cost on the city the lowest cost on the city nice yeah we have this type of market in the US too flea markets yeah where you can get anything you want you know we call them flea market that's awesome man um I can't wait for us to get there so I can show you guys how the flea market here looks like yes it's just three blocks on this direction okay three blocks yeah that's it's awesome this market used to be in other place. Mm -hmm. Now, for this of the quarantine, mm -hmm. uh, they were located in other park. Oh, okay. about traveling is you meet a lot of people on the way when you travel you gotta be open-minded and ready you know to make friends just met these guys my friend right here he's from colombia this guy is from here Costa. you know even though i'm not as fluent in spanish but we can still we still connect it that's what that's how you gotta be as a traveler 
I tell you, after solo travel, you gotta be able to connect with the people. So today I decided to do local stuff. So they're taking me right now to a market, which is a really a free market where everyone, all the locals go on Saturdays, you know, during the weekend. You can get anything there in the free market. And it's very, very, very affordable. So I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the streets of Cusco, Peru. One thing about me when I travel, I always try to mix very touristy stuff I mix it with local stuff so I try to make friends everywhere I go that are from the place so they can really show me what they do in their everyday life they were removed now they are located on this new park mm -hmm. the name is Umanchata okay. their name is Umanchata here we're gonna find three fields all these fields are full of sailors oh, okay. full of sailors so guys, this is the new flea market. Here you can find anything that you want here. Um, they just brought me here. And um, the only way you know about this, that's it. You know about this as a tourist is if you try to connect with a local. Let's see if I can see anything here that I like.